is a single leg reverse slide. So you need a dish towel or a furniture slider. So I'm gonna get this on the ground. I'm gonna put one foot on it. Almost all my weight is gonna be here. And I'm gonna send this leg back. And then drive up by pushing into the ground. So this leg I'm getting straight. Sending it back, sending it back, sending it back. That's about as far back as I can reach it. And I'm gonna push this leg into the ground. So what's kind of happening here is we're trying to get into a hip hinge position, but more of a single leg focus. We have to pick something up from the ground, um, kind of getting a little bit lower. We're teaching this a lot at folks who have hip pain or back pain. It's also just a great way to strengthen this front leg, glutes primarily, a little bit of quads, a little bit of balance. And so we can get just a dish towel on uh, a tile or hardwood or otherwise laminate, some kind of slippery flooring. Or if you only have carpet, you go to Home Depot or somewhere for like two bucks, you get a furniture slider that's plastic on one side. And we're gonna get that here. I've seen people who use paper plates. And this is gonna allow this leg to slide backwards. And well, it's probably not entirely foolproof. It's very hard to move from the low back because moving from the low back sends this leg nowhere. And so I have to send that leg back, which then tends to keep this in a straight line. Then to come up, I wanna use my front leg, which means I push into the ground and I'm staying light on this back leg. So if I'm weighting the back leg too much, then this will kind of stutter. It's like I can't really, a lot of friction now because I'm putting weight on it. So by keeping it light, we're eliminating friction and we get some good work done on this front side as well as work on hip hinge. So hip hinge is this position up and down. Often it's challenging for people at first to shift their weight back to their heels without rounding their back or locking their knees out. And so this exercise can really help that. So if you're working on hip hinging more than strengthening, you can come here, match the leg, and then come up, come back down, find that towel again, it's way back there, and work a single leg to double leg to try to get that hinge position. And of course, we can find ways to load this with dumbbells or med ball bands, lots of different things. But to start working on that reach back to get the hinge.